I'm going to do a little something different today. This is something that we've been interested in doing for a long time and we just never have gotten around to it. Uh, vermicomposting, uh, making worm castings and raising earthworms. Um, we didn't really want to experiment and try to build our own bin and all that. Uh, so we just broke down and bought a pre-existing system. Um, something that's proven to work uh, just to get us started in learning process and all that. Um, this is the Worm Factory 360. We're not affiliated with them at all. Um, it's just something that we're trying out. Uh, basically what it is, is a stackable system. They call it upward migration. And you basically will feed the worms and the top bin will be your feed bin. And as they get full, you'll rotate them down to the bottom and the earthworms will evacuate up into the food and you'll have worm castings. Is that the idea anyway? Uh, so this is the Worm Factory 360. Um, basically what it is, is a stand with a spigot to collect leachate. Um, a worm ladder, so in case any worms wind up in the liquid down here, they can climb back up into the feed bins. Um, the system comes with four feed bins, four trays. Um, basically, they're just a tray with a grid on the bottom. You'll set your first tray in there. Uh, we're not going to be using the next three trays. Um, for the, At first, we'll be using them in the coming months. We'll set them off to the side. It also comes with some shredded paper, some coconut base. Uh, some pumice for aeration in the soil, some mineral dust. It also comes with a scraper, a little rake, thermometer, this handy collection for the spigot here. It also comes with a couple little good books that are pretty interesting. Uh, so what we're going to do today, our earthworms are coming tomorrow and we ordered 2,000 of them. Uh, so we're going to get them a place to stay uh, ready for when they get here in the morning. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do, as per the instructions, <laughs> Let's put a dry piece of paper in the bottom. Uh, organize this a little better here. I don't need all this stuff out just yet. Okay, and it says that we're going to take in an empty bucket here. We're going to take half of our coconut. We're going to put the other half on the side here. And it says to add a cup of water to it to get it wet, moist. You don't want it dripping wet, you just want it damp. So we're going to add a cup of water to that, and it's going to soak that all up. We're just going to kind of break it up to be a substrate here for the worms. I think we're going to add a little bit more water. A mess here. I'm doing it outside though. Um, we do a several different kinds of composting, mostly cold composting, where we just pile stuff up on the ground and put stuff in there and dig through it and kind of turn it and add stuff to it. Um, but we wanted something that could be a little bit closer to home, where we could just lift the lid and toss stuff in there. Uh, so we decided to go with this setup here. We've almost got this coconut all broke up. I'm going to add just a touch more water. It's kind of dry. I'm gonna make sure it's all nice and broke up. That stuff is really compact. Okay, and then the instructions say that we're gonna add half of the shredded paper they sent with us. We're gonna mix that in. And this is basically a bedding to get them started. Uh, the paper is necessary, I guess, but the coconut's not necessary. Um, you can use just paper, but they sent it, so we're going to use it. Um, it says stick that off to the side for starting the next tray. It also says... Alright, the last thing we need to do is we need to soak a piece of newspaper here to make our lid for this thing to keep the flies down and all that. We don't want it soaking wet, but we want it to be nice and damp. And we're going to set this over the top, like so. Okay, and then the lid goes on there and we're ready to have worms. When we get the worms, we'll basically lift this wet cover, we'll put the worms in the middle here, and we'll know they'll set, they're settled when they migrate off to the size of the food. Um, 
We'll feed these worms. Uh, with the 2,000 worms, they should be able to eat about a pound of scraps a day. Um, it should be 50-50 food scraps to shredded paper and dry material. And once they fill this tray up, uh, we'll basically add another tray and start that over. And this tray will start to become a processing tray instead of a feeding tray. And once the trays stack up, within four months, we should be able to harvest a first tray of compost and have a couple others in the succession and a top feeding tray that we're using. So. Um, our worms are expected to come in tomorrow morning. Um, we'll videotape that and show you installing the worms into the worm factory. Um, but that's it. Uh, we'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching. Alright, so we received our worms from Uncle Jim's Worm Farm this morning, UPS. Uh, we've added a little bit of water to them to get them started rehydrating. We're going to take off our wet cover here. And we're going to add the worms in the middle of the bed. And as you can see, that's just a huge ball of red wigglers. So, they're in their new home. We'll cover them back up with a damp newspaper. I'm going to actually wet it a little bit more. Cover them back up. And that's it. Worms are installed. We'll check back in on them in about a week. All right, YouTube, uh, our video kind of got cut off of us making the feed tray, the first feed tray here, so we decided to wait to give you the video until we were ready to make another feed tray. Um, so what we're gonna do here is pull off our little newspaper cover. And you can see that we're just full of worms here. We got worms everywhere. We've got worm eggs uh, in here. So they're doing really good. We're almost ready for another tray. So what we're gonna to do today is go ahead and make one for you to show you exactly what we were doing. We're gonna put the next tray on top of that. And we're no longer gonna feed in this tray here. They're gonna to continue to make this into compost and we're gonna to continue to feed them on the top tray. The worms will move up and, and the, the good dirt will be finished here on the bottom. Um, so we've already got our coconut core moistened. We're going to pour this in here. This is not really mandatory to start with, but this is what they sent us, so we're going to go ahead and finish this up. Um, we also have some shredded newspaper here. We're going to put that in here. Some of this, the other half of this bag I guess it's perlite for aerating the soil. Pumice is what it says on the bag. Um, and then they also sent us some minerals. Uh, it's a little compacted here. And it says to put a cap full or so in there. And we do that. And now we're going to stir this all together. To our base. And then that's going to be our new feed tray. And any food that we give them from here on is going to be placed in this top tray. And we'll cover it again with our wet newspaper to keep them damp. Cover it back up. And they should be ready to fill this tray up in another few weeks as well. Thanks for watching.